going on YouTube, Geosno right here. In today's video I'm going to demonstrate how you can screencast your iPhone or Android using AirDroid Cast, a program that allows you to connect your device to your computer and share your screen for presentation purposes or you know for recording purposes and stuff like that. And it actually supports multiple protocols including wireless LAN, AirPlay and even through a cable. You can even screencast to a wireless network local or remote so you can be here and screencast to a screen far away in a different city or different country. The program can be downloaded from here, it's called AirDroid Cast and it can be found at airdroid.com. There's a free trial available but there's also a premium plan. Now this is primarily useful for school purposes or company purposes if you want to do a presentation at school or uni or work and it's actually very easy to use and you can do any sort of online presentation. You can even control your device directly through it so that's actually quite great. So let's see it in action. Now basically with this program you can cast your macOS device screen, your Windows screen, your iOS or your Android screen. So it supports computers as well as mobile devices. So let's use the program first. I have the program in here on macOS and I would basically want to cast my phone screen. To do that all I have to do is to install the application AirDroid Cast from the App Store or Google Play and of course open it. Once you open it, you can start casting by scanning the QR code over there. So I'm scanning it right now and it says connecting to the server. Once you connect, it's going to ask you if you want to actually cast that screen. I'm going to press allow. All right, so as you can see at this point, the device is now connected and the application is showing in there. This is the application. You can share device sound if you want to. You can connect the microphone or you can pause the casting and so on and show everything on your device. So for example, if I want to cast, let's say a web page that I want to present to people, like this YouTube help page over here is very simple to do. Yes, there's a little bit of delay between when you scroll and when it shows up in there if you do it wirelessly, but it's still good for presentation purposes. But here with cable, as you can see, you can go even up to 1080p for iOS and 1080p for Android and the frame rate is much better with cable. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the device through the cable. You can see right now there is a little bit of delay when I try to use it because right now I'm connected via wireless, but let's see with cable cable. Alright, so I have connected the device to the computer now with a cable. So let's see if it's better. I'm going to go with cable here, select the device and it's now connecting to that device. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's actually much smoother and much better. So if you want to screencast, for example, a game, the cable would be a better alternative. And you can see it's now casting using the cable. Now the application itself, as I said, you're going to need an application. You can find it by searching for AirDroid Cast over here. And there are two applications, AirDroid File Transfer and AirDroid. AirDroid Cast. The AirDroid Cast, this one over here, is the one that you need. So once you have it, you will be able to connect. But you don't actually need the application if you want to cast with a cable. But for wireless casting, you are going to need the application. Now, something important I would like to mention is that if you rotate the screen, for example, like this, it will rotate in there automatically. So you can do a presentation, no problem, and have a PowerPoint or a keynote on the screen, and it will be perfectly fine in there. Once you return back to portrait mode, it's going to rotate automatically in there as well. But that's not actually all. If you go ahead in here on their website, you don't even need the application if you want to screencast. You can screencast directly to the web. That is the AirDroid Cast web over here. And as you can see, it gives you a QR code, which you can open the application and of course you can scan the QR code, which I'm going to do, and your device will actually connect automatically inside the browser, so you can screencast your screen to the browser with no problem, as you can see what I'm doing in here now. Now it's going to take a few seconds before the uh, screen resolution will be better, and it's definitely slower than cable, but in order to present something, to you know show a presentation or stuff like that, it's going to work fine. And here it supports rotating the screen as well, as you can see from here, so we can do a presentation with no issue directly in the browser which is definitely great. But what about Android? What if you have an Android device? Well, you can screencast that with no problem as well. I have connected my Android device with a cable now to the computer, and as you can see, it shows in there, LG H870. So if I press on it, it's going to connect directly to the uh, device, and I will be able to screencast this device in a couple of seconds. And there we go. As you can see, it's actually quite okay. We can open the settings, no problem. And yes, as you can see, everything is fine and it's smooth. So I would be able to screencast any I want really. The application is also available in the Play Store if you want to get it, but yeah, it's definitely easy to screencast the Android device as well. And if you want to control it, you can press here on this little hand, and at this point, you're now able to control the device with your mouse. 
as you can see from here it actually controls the device with my mouse i open settings in here i press on these settings and it opens these settings i press here on the search bar so now i can actually use my computer keyboard in order to type for example let's say display on the keyboard and as you can see every time i type on my keyboard it actually goes ahead and uh, types on the phone without even touching the device so um, yeah that's actually how it works you can control your device no problem so yeah you can do a presentation you can control the device and there's multiple things you can do you can even turn off the screen if you want to and only have it here on the presentation here are the Android buttons for going home or for opening the application launcher you can do so directly from here close all the applications like that and even pin the applications. You can do anything you do normally on your touch screen. So that's actually useful if your device has a bad display that was cracked or, you know, is no longer working because this way you can actually navigate the device as long as it powers on and you can get your photos, contacts and so on from the broken device. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. That's how you screencast your display with the AirDroid Cast. There's a free trial available, so definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.